Hi guys, back to the uh, second part of Android tutorial by Prabhish uh, In the previous part, I am explain. I will explain what are the software packages needed uh, for starting Android development. First one is the JDK, and uh, you you are already downloaded the Eclipse IDE. Uh, in this part, I am continuing to uh, I continue to uh, explain how to prepare Eclipse for starting Android development so open up Eclipse okay now here your Eclipse ID is, is ready for starting Android development uh, so the next package you need to download for uh, Android development is Eclipse plugin Eclipse plugins for Android or simply the ADT. ADT is nothing but the plugins needed for needed by the Eclipse IDE for starting Android. So uh, again, go to Google and just type Eclipse uh, plugins. Okay, you can see here Eclipse plugins for Android. Uh, here is a developer.android.com. This is the official website for of Google for Android developers. From this uh, website, you will get uh, the tools needed for st for the Android development. So, uh, I go to this slide site. Uh, here, uh, in this site, you will see a download option at the left corner of that site. Expand that download option again. There is a uh, setting ADT bundle starting uh, setting up an existing ID exploring downloading the NTK like that. So you have to expand the uh, setting up an existing ID. So here you can see installing the Eclipse plugin option is present here. So click that link. Uh, after clicking that link, you can see installing the Eclipse plugin file uh, file is option here. Uh, here is a here there is a URL is present here. By using this URL, you have to download the ADT for plugins. Okay, for uh, downloading this URL, you just copy this URL and again uh, go to Eclipse IT. In the Eclipse ID, go to the Help tab option. In that option, there is a Install New Software option is present there. Open up that option. Now you can see another window is open up in Eclipse ID. Uh, this is the windows from which you have to install a new software for Eclipse ID. So here we are going to install the ADT. That means Android plugins for Eclipse IDE. Uh, you are already copied the uh, URL for ADT. Uh, so here is work with option is present here. Just copy, just paste the copied URL here and click Add option. Okay, guys, here an Add repositionary repository options available here uh, there is an ok button I am already installed ADT plugin ADT for my Eclipse ID that's why uh, this ok button is not highlighted if you are installing ADT for first time this ok button is highlighted and uh, the installer will uh, keep you in the uh, will promote will uh, guide you through the installation option of ADT you have to accept the license agreement of that package and uh, click next and finally click finish I am not going to demonstrate here it here uh, because I am already installed uh, that in my ID so after doing that you will prepare your you will successfully install ADT for Android that means Android uh, you are successfully installed uh, Eclipse plugins Android plugins for Eclipse so uh, the next package you need to download is the Android 
is DK. The next package you need to download is Android SDK. So in order to downloading Android SDK, just open up again open up uh, Eclipse IDE and go to the window tab option present at the top of the menu bar. Uh, just choose that option. We can see an Android SDK manager and ABD manager is present here. Uh, just choose the Android SDK manager. Uh, here is the SDK manager open up. Guys, I am already installed some of uh, Android SDK packages and uh, Android SDK. Some I am already installed some of the Android SDK packages in my computer. That's why uh, it is showing like this. Some packages are already installed and some others are not installed. And some packages are some updates are available for some packages. If you are installing Android SDK for first time, all of these are show as not installed then you have to uh, choose this install option also there is a license agreement that present there and the installer will guide you uh, some steps and finally you will uh, you have to click finish after doing all these steps you are successfully uh, install the Android SDK for the Eclipse ID uh, okay guys after doing after doing after finishing all these steps you are successfully uh, set up the uh, Android uh, set up you are successfully start set up your computer for Android development that means you are installed Java you are installed Eclipse ID you are already installed Android ADT for Eclipse also now you are installed um, Android SDK for Eclipse ID so for checking uh, whether your IT is ready for Android development, you just uh, go to the file option, take the new project, new option, and within that, just choose the project option. You can see here an Android option and Android project option is present here. Uh, this indicates that your IT is now ready for Android development. So, thank you for watching and in the next tutorial, I am going to explain how to create a virtual device, Android virtual device or an AVD for your Eclipse IDE. Okay guys, uh, subscribe my channel and keep watching. Okay, see you in the next part of this tutorial.